In other news, suspended Badger football player Quintess Cephas enters a plea in Dane County Court. Cephas faces two felony sexual assault charges. Eric Franke has more in the newsroom. Eric? Susan, Mark, this all stems, of course, from that incident that allegedly happened back in April when two women came forward to say they were at Cephas' apartment on April 22nd and that he sexually assaulted them while they were drunk. Cephas says it was consensual and pleaded not guilty today to those charges. The 20-year-old wide receiver has been suspended from the team since those charges were filed. A separate attorney has also filed a lawsuit on Cephas' behalf against the university in federal court for how it handled a Title IX investigation into the claims, saying it violated his constitutional rights. Bishop Tavis Grant is the Cephas family minister and spokesman. He and his family want a speedy trial. He wants to get back as soon as possible. They would take him to court today. He'd go to court today. Uh, the fact of the matter, he is innocent. Uh, he believes uh, in the justice system and he wants his day in court. Badger senior captains Michael Dieter and Dakota Dixon were there in court today in support of Cephas. The attorney for Cephas in the criminal portion of this case, Stephen Meyer, says he continues to gather surveillance video from the night of that incident. He couldn't get into detail about what was in the video he's seen, but Meyer says what he has seen gives him no reason to change his earlier request to dismiss the case. Cephas is due back in court November 13th. Mark, Susan?